The New Oxford Dictionary defines leadership as the action of leading a group of people or an organization. And the Collins Dictionary defines the leadership as the qualities that make someone a good leader. All the methods a leader uses to do his or her job. But what is the right definition? Everyone's understanding of the word could be very different. And mainly because of the experience each of us has gone through. And that our opinion of what leadership is, is different from another person's. My belief is that leadership is everything that has been defined and yet more. I also believe that leadership is situational and different situations require specific kinds of leadership. Now, generally for leadership to happen, there must be someone who is leading and others who are following. Now, why would people follow a leader? What characteristics must the leader possess? I put down some characteristics which I think are important. First, the leader has to be visionary. He must be able to articulate a vision so that people can identify with him. So he must be an outstanding individual. He cannot just be a run-of-the-mill person. And he must share a common goal with his followers so that they can bond with him to achieve the common goal. I believe he should have a commanding personality as well so that he can command the respect of his followers. And he must have a good stature and good reputation. I'm sure people will not follow a leader with a bad reputation. Right? And the leader has a capability to do what most people cannot. And for that reason, the followers know that if they follow the leader, the chances of them achieving their goals is much greater. And so uh, instead of doing themselves, they rather follow the leader. There are other personal attributes of a leader that will include honesty, integrity, sincerity, and openness. The leader has to play various roles when leading his team, which includes being a communicator, an educator, a motivator, and he is also a politician. As, a, as the leader, he networks with uh, other leaders and shield the followers from the politics in the organization so that they can devote themselves to their tasks rather than playing politics. He's also a relationship builder to build relationship amongst the team and also with external parties. And last but not least, he's a change manager. The followers will have to face a number of challenges as they progress and because of the changing circumstances and changing environments. The leader helps the team to cope with changes that come their way. Now, on top of all these skills, when we talk about the business leader, the business leader today will require additional skills. Firstly, a strong business perspective about how the economy is doing and how the business should adjust to that environment. And because information technology is so important to businesses today, he has to be continuously informed on developments in IT and interpret their significance to the business. He has to manage the teams so that they are change-oriented according to the environment changes and a catalyst to business thinking. Let us now take a look at the current era of transformation and more specifically 
at digital transformation, which is the topic which I would like to cover today. And it is a buzzword in the industry. Digital transformation happens because businesses need to overcome digital disruption. Firstly, why are there disruptions? There will always be disruptions because the human race is always innovating. And you innovate, there will be new changes, new technology, there will be disruption. The current wave of disruption is because of the rapid advancement of uh, technology. Human beings innovate in order to ensure their survival. They will employ whatever is the latest technology that will ensure their survival. Now, mankind innovate because they are continuously trying to achieve a higher standard of living. Everyone hopes that life will be better tomorrow for themselves and for the future generations. So therefore, there will be no end to disruption. So we can forget about it, all right? If you think that disruption will end. As is commonly said, the only constant in business is change. If we do not change, then unfortunately, we will be left behind. Now, how do we prepare for disruption since we cannot avoid it? First, we need to have awareness of the emerging technologies that are coming to disrupt our business. We need to maintain our agility and be prepared to change. We need to get out of our comfort zone so that we do not rely on age-old business practices and processes that are becoming obsolete. A lot of people stay in their comfort zone because they feel safe and the environment is familiar, not knowing that the comfort zone will lead them actually to their downfall. We have to pick up new knowledge and skills and be aware of signs of impending change. In the new millennium, the advent of new technologies has made this very challenging. New business models enabled by technology will emerge to topple traditional business thinking. Technology like the internet, big data analytics, AI, machine learning, internet of things, 6G networks, etc., have been effectively employed by emerging business leaders to challenge incumbents in the marketplace and even usurp their leadership positions. A new leadership model based on agility and an agile mindset is needed in the era of transformation. So we call this agility, digital agility. Digital agility describes the ease with which an organization can rapidly enable update change or adapt the processes to the changes in the business environment. Why is then an agile mindset important? Firstly, we live in a VUCA world. You have not heard this word before. It stands for volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity. Rapid advances in technology has brought about digital disruption as we have examined. In the recent few years, the COVID-19 pandemic has accelerated business disruption and has created a new normal for work. Work has shifted from the office to the home. And even after the pandemic is largely over, people are reluctant to go back to the office. The big changes in the business environment means that business must be able to be agile to adjust to the changes. Let's look at the principles of agile digital transformation. 
it starts with a transformative vision. A vision is like a call to action. It describes what the business aims to achieve and how the future will look like. There must be a strong focus on building digital customer engagement. We need to put the customer in the center of our business and use the latest technologies to engage with customers and give them an excellent customer experience when they are interacting with us. If we do not give customer the right attention, they will move on to our competitors, right? That's the reality of business today. Next, we have to support the vision with risk management and security management. We have to manage the risks that come along with new technology. And believe you me, all new technologies carries risks with them. And with so much data that we collect, we have to ensure our systems are secure and we guard our data, especially customer data extremely well so that the customer have confidence to do business with us. From all the data we have collected when doing business, we should endeavor to derive insights using data visualization tools. Insight about the customers, about the environment, and about the competitors. Finally, we need to embrace digital agility to create advantage for the company by responding quickly to changes in technology, to the marketplace, and to the business environment. In summary, leading digital transformation begins with the agile mindset. And the agile mindset helps the organization to be able to adjust business processes to fit the changing business landscape. Customer centricity is important as the changing business landscape is brought about by changes in customer demands and preferences. Digital leadership is important to overcome the current digital disruption. And it is the strategic use of technology and innovation to achieve the business goals. To conclude, leadership is indeed situational, as we said right in the beginning. Faced with massive disruption in business, many companies have to reinvent themselves or perish. Indeed, Many traditional leaders in business have gone out of business or have lost their leadership position in the marketplace. In the era of digital transformation, those who seek to be leaders must be prepared to get out of their comfort zones and make decisive changes to their business models to meet the challenges posed by emerging technologies the challenges will only get more intense because the speed of change will continue to, be excel to accelerate and to be more intense. And with that, I thank you for your attention.